Hello everyone, once again you are welcome. Please, if this is your first time listening to us or you are just joining us for the first time, kindly support and encourage us by subscribing to this channel. Turn on your notification bell so you will be notified when we have a new video posted in this channel. Thank you. So, um, some days back, uh, the senior pastor of the Redeemed Christian Church of God actually said that the country needs a spiritual solution. Uh, initially, I was not in agreement with him when he said that, but I think at this point, I am in agreement with him that we need to pray for the country. Wherever you are, you need to start praying. If you're a Muslim, if you're a Christian, whoever you are, just start praying for the country. Now, why I'm saying that is because of what the Senate said today. Now, the Senate has passed a vote of confidence on security chiefs for their effort in fighting the security challenges bedeviling the country. Now, this is uh, coming from the Senate, and the president of the Senate, Senator Goswil Akbabio, said all of these after a closed-door meeting with the security chiefs and the national security advisor in Abuja. Akpabio said that the decision was based on the submissions made by the security chiefs. That is the submission. Now, the decision that they pass vote of confidence is just based on the submissions made by the security chiefs on the progress made in the fight against security challenges in the country. Now, this is just based on what they told him in the Senate or during the meeting. But is it that these senators are not actually hearing what is going on in some of the states where a lot of people are kidnapped, people are killed, and all of that. In fact, including even the economic situation of the country. And instead of you know, coming up with a physical solution, they are now accepting what they told them in a closed-door meeting. But outside the, the, the Senate, a lot of people are crying, a lot of people are dying. People are being kidnapped every day. Anyways, I, I did not actually bring this particular video so that I can be talking much. Let me share what the president of the Senate, Goswil Akpabi, actually said after they had a closed door with the security chiefs. And after that, I get to the comment section of this video. Let me know what you have to say about this. You know, the Senate passing a vote of confidence on security chiefs for their effort, I mean, for their effort in fighting the security challenges. So guys, let me know what you think about this particular story in the comments section of this video. Thank you. The Senate, in a close committee of the whole, received the following government officials the Honorable Minister of Police Affairs and the Honorable Minister of State for Police Affairs, the Honorable Minister of Interior, the Honorable Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, the Honorable Minister of State Defense, the Honorable, the Honorable Minister of Defense, the National Security Advisor, the NSA, the Chief of Defense Staff, the CDS, the Chief of Army Staff, the Chief of Naval Staff, the Chief of Air Staff, the Inspector General of Police, the IGP, the Director General of State Services, DSS, and the Chief of Defense Intelligence. The Senate listened to the comprehensive briefings by the National Security Advisor and briefings from the Security Chiefs on the state of the nation, particularly the state of security and insecurity, including reported issues of killings, kidnappings, and other criminal activities currently bedeviling the nation. The Senate then stressed 
the urgent need for the security agencies to adopt proper synergy in their operations to tackle the insecurity in the country. The Senate also went into specific cases reported by various constituents and also some reported through the social media. The Senate also recommended intelligence sharing among the security agencies. The Senate listened to the efforts of the security chiefs, particularly the serious improvement in the operations nationwide. The Senate was impressed that almost 90% of perpetrators of heinous crimes in the country, including the ones recently reported in Buari, in Abuja, have been apprehended, and many of them are already in detention to face the wrath of the law. The Senate also listened to various efforts made in areas that suffered serious insecurities in Plateau State, in Benue State, in Taraba State, in Samfara State, in, uh, in Nasarawa State, also in Kasina State, Kaduna, and other places, and also and an embrace it, and also listen to briefs from security agents and security chiefs on the efforts being made on those specific instances. The Senate was impressed with their determination and focus, but the Senate urges them to do more to ensure total security of lives and properties in the nation. Therefore, the Senate is of the view that the executive arm of government has been making a lot of efforts in the security sector through the procurement process of new equipment, including technology, to combat various insurgencies in the country. The Senate also pointed out that yes, appropriations have been made and releases made, but the Senate urges the Honorable Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, who himself also gave briefing to ensure immediate implementation and releases of all funds needed by security agencies in order to combat the insurgents and also procure equipment to fight the insurgents and banditry in the nation to keep Nigeria safe. Thereafter, the security chiefs with the national security advisor answered questions from distinguished senators bordering on security insurgency, terrorism, kidnapping, and other topical national security matters. The Senate thereafter commend Mr. President for his determination and focus on ensuring the security of lives and properties. The Senate also commended or commends the security chiefs for their efforts so far, and particularly our men and women in uniform, and the leaders of various communities who even in the face of difficulties paid supreme sacrifice in order to ensure that they keep their various communities safe. 